Oh, oh my God. Oh, what so today I'm heading over to my friend Matt's house and we're gonna do my fronts and um, check out his Datsun that he just finished building. I'll uh, pack all my tools in my car and I'll see you there. So, made it here to Matt's. This is Matt. Say hi, Matt. Hey. And um, this is his project car that he's been doing for the better part of two years. Yeah, about that one. A really pristine, beautiful Datsun 260. That's road legal, except for the cage. Oh yeah, that's right. It was supposed to have an RB, but now he's just a liar. What is it? An L28. Yeah. L28 Turbo. Inside is like pristine. It cracks. Oh, it's okay. That's like not really that bad compared to some cars. You can barely see them. Cute shift knob, I like it. Is that the starlet? <laughs> oh no, rip the starlet. Matt had a starlet. Hashtag rip the starlet. Yeah, so Matt got like in a pretty bad accident the other week in his starlet. This thing was so cool. It was like the best daily of all time. Had it was stripped out interior with a bucket seat and some like hectic dish wheels with semi slicks. Yeah, the coolest car ever. And then this happened. Rip, ripperoni the starlet. And it was so cheap. The saddest story. Which button starlet? Because race car. That's why. Stripped interior. Because race car. Who needs back seats? Not that this car is really big enough for rear passengers. So I dropped it down and we're going for a test drive now to make sure that the brakes work. Wow, <laughs> that flutter is amazing. <laughs> yes. Oh! Yep, the brakes work. A lot better. Yeah. Taking the Datsun for a test drive now that we've done the diff oil. There is a weird clunking noise coming from somewhere underneath the car in first gear, so it, hopefully that diff oil replacement has fixed it. Who's that cutie? Who's, who's that cutie? Oh, hell yeah. So during our test drive, we quickly stopped off at Zach's house. Hey. Haven't seen you for a while, mate. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. How's, how's the Supra going? That's the last time we saw you. Yeah, Supra's going okay. Got new wheels on it. It's had yeah. two new sets of wheels on it since the camera's seen it. But you it's going okay now. It wasn't earlier. Yeah. No. Funny story about that one. Zach's old KE that, that was in like the first couple of videos that I ever posted. He swapped it and now has an FBRX7. Yee with a 13B in it. Hey MTV, welcome to my cribs. It's my V over here, she's a bit blue. Why are you always talking about MTV cribs? Because it's, it's my crib. You're in my house, boy. They haven't actually had this start. Neither have I, we're gonna start this car up and listen to the, the uh, bridge ported 13B. Let's go suss the uh, Supra as well because it has some new wheels on it. Pokey pokey. <laughs> so yeah, he has some Wattars on it. Night run banner on. So, funny thing, about three weeks after we filmed the last video where we went and picked this up, can't really tell. But Zach got completely rear-ended while he was parked by this chick driving some Mazda. I'll throw up some photos here. But he got completely rear-ended by her and it screwed the whole back bumper, the whole rear quarter and rear light and the hatch got kind of bent up. But um, luckily, because his car is old enough, insurance paid him out and he got to keep the car, he got paid out a decent amount of money and it only cost him about a hundred bucks to fix it, so he ended up coming out of the deal pretty well and got some Wattars. 
he put the Dragon Ball Z shifter from the KE. He put that in. He, oh, I got him this like, I got him this thing to match mine. Um, he put, he stitched a Japanese flag in the stock seat. And that's about all. What else have you done? Um, oh, you got new leopard ring. print mats. Put the interior in. And he got a rear leopard print mat. Oh yeah, and put the interior in. It didn't have interior or back seats yeah. before. From the first video, I'd see that had no interior. That's right. Yeah, lots been done. Man, this thing's so oh. pretty. There's so many nice cars in this video today. Yeah, yeah. We've got the 260, the Supra, the RX-7. Nick. But back to the RX-7, because you have not seen that yet. You want to make it a red, please? Yeah, go. so loud, dude. It's going, you're going to lose your license. You're going to have no license a week after this gets registered. Yeah. So, I don't know if you can hear me, but Zach's trying to register this thing. And it is definitely not legal on your P plates. Nutty, nutty. Nutty, nutty. So, yeah, there's that. So, we can't, yeah, you can't keep it on too long because I don't have the thermo fan hooked up yet, so... Oh, true, yeah, you don't want to overheat. Probably hooked that thermo fan. Yeah, up. probably should. There's a lot of shit to do, but... Yeah. Should be on the road very soon. Uh, rotary on the road soon. Uh, Zach with no license, even sooner. It's very true. Yeah. Very true. You know, when you're rolling my squad, you got to have the flip-up lights, boy. Oh, flippy-uppy lights, boy. We need Joel to, like, freak out over them again. Don't flippy-uppy lights! Oh, the fucking flippy-uppy lights! <laughs> oh. I'm gonna have to review the footage from that. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah. I can't wait. I'm excited. Should be cool. It's done. Cat cam. So we're gonna do my front camera arms as well. Because we did the backs on Wednesday. So now I don't have as hectic camber in the rear. But in the front, I still have one wheel at three degrees and one wheel at one degree. So cars up in the air and just pulling the wheels off now. So this is your camera arm here. You want to take this bolt out and since it's double wishbone, you got one bolt right up the back here and one bolt right up the back here, uh, up there. And um, these should just pop straight out. And then these are the new ones. So Cusco fronts, Cusco rears. I also found out my sway bar, my rear sway bar is Cusco, so Cusco everything. Another cool car joining the vid. Another Supra. Mark 4, Mark 3. We got just so many cool cars today. That's good, man. There's like just too many cool cars for one video. All of them work perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> we drove down to Victoria Point, which isn't too far from where we are to see Zach, as you saw before. And on the way home, we barely made it home in the Datsun. <laughs> it's had, it has a couple of issues that need fixing. So yeah, Zach was watching it from behind. It was like yeah. filling his car up with smoke. smoke the Datsun was filled with smoke. <laughs> <She laughs> Everything was going wrong. But yeah, One she's alive. She made it home, but yeah. not very easily. Yeah, so the front bolt of these ones is 17. Yeah. Haven't been able to check the rears yet, but I'm just gonna pull the fronts out first. Be able to get yeah, access easier to the back so it can maybe drop down a little bit. We'll see. So I got the nut off. And now I just need to, should just be able to pop this bolt through, but I have a feeling it's going to be difficult. Well, there we go. That's good shit. Yeah, I know, you probably can't. Oh, there we go. Hell yeah. First bolt out. Sorry, focus on me Yo, first. player! You gotta focus it. It's the outside ring, or if you focus on me before you start filming, that probably works better. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Teach how to film. It's I always hard. teach everyone to film while I film. It's hard to see though, because it really it's dark. There okay. we go. So, I borrowed this off Matt, and I'm going to use it as like a pry bar to get special leverage on these bolts. Here's an engine, Matthew. Get that one. That's what he had. I had that. And then he I sold it. had that engine. No, you didn't have no, a Neo. You had half of that engine. I, I have a Neo. Neo. You had a Neo? I had a Neo. Why did you sell it? Neo. You had half of that. He could have, we could have actually got home and back if he had an RB25. <laughs> hey, but instead he was like, no, let's go stock engine, and now it doesn't run. It does. No, I'm just kidding, it does. Whoa. It'll run when it, when it, it just needs some work. It just needs fuel map and mm. whatnot. 
Yeah. And it needs everything that gets plugged, like, that, that should be plugged up to there. actually get plugged up. Hey, look, you Damn. Is there that? we are. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the point. Yeah, I had it. Alright, so yeah, I just like got up around the end of my spanner. Dude, you I'm just gonna. Nah, this is the end. Do that and break my, my car. car. Anyway, so I'm taking the camera now and uh, we're just gonna go to the Supra. Mmm, damn. He's, he probably puts his dick in the exhaust pipe. Oh, you've got no idea. Oh yes, I broke. I, oh yes, yes I broke it. I cracked the bolt, boys. We're in. Yeah, All right, we're making progress, boys. boys. The bolt is coming out slowly. When I see speakers out, like walking around. Like, you <laughs> cry a single tear because rip the starlet. Yeah, I saw one. I'm putting, I'm putting like across the screen of this video at least like 20 times throughout the video. Rip the starlet. <laughs> I won't even say one, it, one and I'll still star. just put it on the screen anyway. <laughs> like, like this video if rip the starlet. That's it, that's all. <laughs> Back to this one. Zach! I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Number two bolt is out. <laughs> On to number three bolt, which is proving is going to be much more difficult. How am I going to get this bolt back on, honestly? The good old handy spanner trick. That's how we're going to do this. Feeling nice. So while Kelly's paying attention to this, let's pay attention to this. Ooh. Hi. Zach's actually just gonna watch this video back one, once I post it. Mm. And he's just gonna like masturbate to it. I will. Video. We, we got the dual spanner technique once again for like the third, like I use this in every video. The dual, oh. sp the dual spanner technique, eh? Yeah. It works, eh? What did I tell you? Bloody works. You get the spanner on the other spanner and you just bloody, you wrench it. It's pretty yep. much a breaker bar. You put the line you don't on the need coconut. You don't need breaker bars if you use the double spanner. That brace, this guy I took his is going to buy a boost, Hilux. Like soft boost gate and he's around all the Jap car boys. <laughs> and he's going to grab a Hilux. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, we're, oh, we're, we're looking at you. Oh, yeah, we're looking smashes. at you. Give it a couple of years. Hey, bro, <laughs> I work with a guy called man. Peter, mate. You guys will get right along. He has a Navara. He, Give it a couple it. Years. Oh, no. he talks so much smack on my car. I'm like, yeah. All right, but your car has 30 psi and probably about 100 kilowatts less yeah. than mine, so like, God. suck me. It doesn't matter because Navarro's a shit anyway, so. Oh, throwing shade. Four wheel drive boy throwing shade at the other four wheel drive. Navarro's no, are shit. I think it's like loose enough to get out of my finger now. I just gotta finger it. Yeah, just finger it. Yeah, I'm finger it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can I get a? Oh yeah. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. So pretty much, they're all 17 mil bolts. These I think two it's saying go it's got seconds, seven seconds left of battery. Probably. Yeah. Six, okay. Quickly. Five. Ah, these two are in the back and they hold the back end in. This one has a nut and it holds the front end, and you just take them all apart and it comes out. Zing. All right. So we ran to Kmart because my SD filled up. Completely. We were gonna go to Super Cheap Order to get him a fuel filter for the Dado, but um, Super Cheap was closed. But I ran into Kmart and picked up a new SD card. So we're back. And we're gonna finish putting in my camera arms. Um, I was checking out the measurements of my stock ones to these ones, and it seems like I don't have to make any adjustments. I should just be able to throw them straight in. Let's do that. So this one says left engraved in on there so you want to pop it in there and pop at least like one of the bolts through this is proving to be very difficult all right i've got it all lined up are you filming yeah. okay so i've got it all lined up and the bolts are back in um for right now so you can see this bolts in and like the nuts on the end and then the two bolts at the back, they just thread into nuts inside the engine bay that are already like stuck on the, welded onto the um, strut towers. That's the things that I'm thinking of. So now pretty much all I have to do is just bolt it all back up. Although the new bolt that came with the Costco camber arms, they're not 17 mil, only the two back ones are. So I just have to do those up and then um, I'll have to figure out what size the the new bolts at the front are. But yeah, that's how to install camber arms. 
All right, now I have to jack up my arm when I tighten it, because if you, yeah. Check out my arm. Yeah, dude. <laughs> what you want to do when you're putting them back in is you like finger tighten everything, and then you jack up the bottom of the um, suspension. Do you jack it up. Yeah, the Durgan. Yeah, yeah the, the dick, the shaft. <laughs> you jack up the shaft, um, and then you want to tighten everything when it's up at like ride height level, just so you make sure you don't like screw up any bushings or anything. Because I didn't do that with my rear coilovers, and my rear left bushing is now screwed is it? and squeaks. What size are the new ones on camera? Um, at the front, I haven't checked yet. All I know is it's not 17. It's a 19. Matt and his dad have this trusty little square pipe that doesn't bend like that stupid one I try to use. So what I'm gonna do, get some extra leverage for this bolt to tighten it up fully, is just put it on the end. Drop the spanner. <laughs> put the spanner back on. Ah! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, what the we heck have an injury, that? people. That hurt like crazy, dude. I still can barely walk properly. Like, I full Pussy on ass. tweaked the muscle in my life. Pussy ass. Stag one. Oh. Caleb. Zero. Oh. Dude, I need to lay down. My back is rooted. That hurt so much, dude. You have literally no idea. Rip stall it. Rip the starlet. Rip the <laughs> <laughs> My back is just about as ripped as the starlet right now. <laughs> so it's, it's been like 10 minutes and Caleb's oh, still, minutes, Caleb's still crying. Minutes. He's triggered. I'm He's so tweaked. Triggered, He's man. tilted. I'm tilted. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. I'm so triggered, man. Meanwhile, on the left corner, Chen. I'm doing it with my broken back while laying on the ground. So I think it's now been like an hour since he came up. <laughs> <laughs> it has been three hours. My back is still broken. <laughs> Look at this little bitch ass, little bitch ass nigga man. I cannot move my lower body. I think I am paralyzed from the waist down. <laughs> Everywhere from my anus down is completely paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot move. <laughs> I'm cured of my paraplegia. He's back. I'm not, I'm still, oh, all right. All right, I'm back from the dead. I died and I came back. I bent over in like a really weird way. And when I, I was like pulling really hard to um, tighten the bolt with this, I just completely tweaked the muscle in my lower back and I've been in like raging pain for the last like 10 minutes. 10 minutes, you mean 30. Shut up, champ. We done the left side, boy. I broke my back in the process, but now I have camera arms in. So we're just tightening up the final bolts, but Zach's leaving. See you, Zach. See you, Zach. See you, See you, man. See you, man. See you, man. So yeah, we're just gonna finish tightening up the final bolt. But yeah, car's back on the ground. It's looking like it may have pulled a little bit of the camber out. So now they look even, um, and they look less cambered. Stoked, they did their job. Um, but still have to get in alignment, because you should always get in alignment whenever you do anything with your suspension. So I'm gonna book it in at, at Fulcrum Suspension in Capalaba, because they are supposed to be the best in, in like the Redlands and my area. All right, we're done. Thanks for helping, Chen. That's right, thanks for fixing Datsun with me. Well, breaking, breaking the Datsun, Datsun with, with you. I, I didn't really fix it with you, I just broke it with you actually. Fire to the Datsun, but you definitely will see more of this because this car is sick. Well, it's not broken. When it works, it, you'll see more of it. Well, maybe I'll come help you do more stuff to it. Can actually. Alright. Seated. Yeah. So I'm back home now. Back feels a little bit better, still a little sore, which is kind of lame. But yeah, my camera arms are finally in. Uh, my car feels way more solid in the front end and it no longer pulls off to the left, which it kind of did a little bit before. It's fixed that problem, so that's good. And if you like the video, chuck it a like or comment below. 
And if you want to keep up with what I'm doing to the Stasia or what my friends are doing to their cars in the future, then hit that subscribe button. All right, have a good one, guys. See ya. How the adjustment works is you got your inside locker and your outside locker, so you lock like you you can uh, when it's off the car you can just spin the head in and out but when it's on the car you got to unlock them twist the middle one to adjust it out or in and then lock them back up it's pretty standard. you're pretty much a professional this eh?